Virgos, welcome. It's your heart spread read for the end of December 2021. Love, romance, and relationship reading. And today, we're specifically looking at the one you just can't get out of your head. So let's take a look. Um, this is showing, I've already have it set up, obviously. And we'll have the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is... Two of Wands is stay or go. Um, it's kind of that sort of energy. Do or don't do energy. I think more than a choice. Um, so I feel like this is some relationship that you're walking right up to. And I, it's weird to me that Jupiter hits uh, Pisces. And minutes later, here come these readings that are really positive. Because um, until I got to Leo... Each one of these readings, I think it's a good exercise because what these uh, things that stick in our head, I mean, this is, you could be married and be thinking about this one that got away, this kind of energy. Uh, but here it, it looks again like Leo, there's a relationship here. A really beautiful, karmic, rich relationship. Um, you're coming in with the Queen of Wands and... So this is you being confident, um, showing up. Um, um, it's kind of unusual, you would say, for your archetypical Virgo energy, which is modest, you know. Um, this is the side of you. You may have Leo energy in your chart, often do as Virgos. It could be prominent. And, you know, you're um, not afraid to stand out, not a say, afraid to say what you mean. Um, and this is you being very active, this is you feeling secure, being mature, um, points to a Virgo, even if you're younger, that's substantial, you can take care of yourself, um, you may be someone that can take care of other people. Great position to be in, in terms of uh, how you are in and around love and relationship, when you come into a relationship, and your person here, they're coming in. Riding in the chariot, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus comes to mind, uh, very most likely. But also, uh, this would be someone that's, I believe, following a spiritual path. Um, they're really, probably already, before they get to you, in the energy of, I'm following my path, I'm stepping into my soul's purpose, I'm aligning myself with my soul's purpose with this chariot, um, Probably they're feeling pretty good too. So this is great energy between a queen of wands and somebody riding a chariot. This is two, I believe, high-functioning people. And I believe spiritual people. Because here you are reacting to them. Now, uh, this is also Mercury. And, and that's your uh, planet. So, um, as a Virgo. And the way you're reacting to them is with the magician. Um... In this position of the way you're reacting to them, it, it can sometimes be uh, playing games or something like that. But I think it would be more if it was your person doing that, having this show up. Uh, with you and the fact that Mercury represents your sign, it brings an element of manifestation. And I have to feel like you would have a sense with them that you manifested them. Um, and... Also, with the Queen of Wands over here being your energy, uh, maybe that's you. It can also be you really taking control of your life, really stepping up, taking control of your life, and manifesting, uh, you believe, this person. Now, their energy towards you is the Fool. It's also the planet Uranus could be significant for them somehow. Um, it's significant for everyone. I mean, today is the exact, uh, this reading goes out on 29th. If you watch it on the 29th, it's the exact day that not only Jupiter enters Pisces, but it's the exact uh, third most significant, arguably, square of Saturn and Uranus. Um, but this shows that someone's at falling for you. When the fool's here, it's like they are, if there's any doubt in your mind, uh, Virgo, this person is a fool for you. They've completely fallen for you. And I think it says a lot because this person's not a fool. They're not immature. They're, they don't have uh, any energy about them. Um, so this is uh, some real love, something kind of substantial here. It might be why you're feeling such a strong uh, sense of manifestation. Now here, 
you have um, this is your energy, which is uh, advice from spirit for you in this relationship, and that is the two of cups. And now for them, they have the judgment card, their advice from spirit. Powerful, and the, these, and this is the advice for relationship as a whole. So these three cards are the crooks of the heart spread here. You can see it in its shape is uh, the most important part of the reading. This is where spirit's jumping in and giving you advice. They have a powerful outcome with the world. And you can't do much better than that. There will be an element to this relationship that you both level up. And with the world there, it means that you absolutely make each other stronger. That you're you're strong and they're strong, but together you're stronger. You somehow complement each other. Again, why you might be having this interest? I can't believe this. I can't believe how well they complement me. I can't believe how perfectly this person you know fits into what it was that I wanted to manifest. And with advice from spirit being the two of cups, there's no other way to take this than give them your cup. You know, um, if that if there was any question. Uh, with this two of wands and you were doubting or wondering maybe so if you're watching tarot reading for love um i this reading is absolutely go for it now with you with them having judgment and this being advice from spirit i don't usually do the twin flame thing but if you were going to go with twin flames um you would definitely be the activator and you know you're manifesting and they would be a sleeper but uh, one that really falls in love with you Possibly they just don't quite understand the karmic nature of it and maybe manifestation. And you should understand, too, that this is not just a manifestation for the things you wanted, but it's a manifestation for your soul's uh, proper alignment in relationship because they're coming in here with judgment. And the advice for them is it just, if you, I'd love for people to share these readings. It'd be one way to use them. We think it resonates, um, but if there's a cross watcher watching, um, this is going to be in terms of you were already feeling like you're stepping into alignment with your life's purpose. And maybe that's why you're so ready to fall as the fool here for your Virgo. Um, and then spirit is telling you, yes, this is a soul connection. Boy, I do love in relationship mostly. This is how we grow. Our soul grows. It's not just about, you know, uh, having sex or even having babies it's about the, how our souls grow in the world through love and relationship often in all kinds of relationships but this is definitely love and with advice from spirit being the queen of swords it's just be open and honest with each other like be all in both of you all in and just tell it like it is with this queen of swords i just get a little bit of a vibe too that you have someone who's an air sign that's on your side as a couple. Um, this person is likely associated with you, Virgo. Um, could be like a sister or someone that's in a position, um, like a peer to you, but in a powerful position that I believe is supportive for this relationship. And, and this person may also be telling you, my God, you know, just be glad, you know, just take the win and go with it, you know? I don't know what else I could possibly say. You have the world as an outcome. Um, I'll, again, saying about that with the world of the outcome, I mean, there's marriage, very often. I think it means marriage because it's leveling up. Not that marriage is leveling up better than being single. It just takes you to a different level. The world shifts when you're married. Now it's not just you. It's you and your person, and it's a completely different world. It's a completely different level. Um, and so I think you'll take this, you'll both be doing this together, leveling up together, and creating a new life together, you know. Um, both of you uh, moving in, especially your person, it's, uh, um, they really, you really did manifest them. That was all meant to be. And that's why they, they probably fell so easily into uh, love with you and they might be doubting with judgment, you know, uh, because again, I see maybe the twin flame You're more the activator more aware of these things and feel that you are and they're kind of like, oh, I don't know I mean, I'm totally in love with you and I'm all in but really is this uh, past life? Is this karmic? Well, yeah, it always is 
So thank you guys. I hope that's helpful somehow. Let me know uh, what you think of this. Leave a comment. Love that. Uh, do um, hit a like. That's easy. And if you haven't subscribed and want to get readings, please do hit the subscribe and hit the bell. That would help a lot too. Thank you.